top of the morn to ya. <laughs> so I had an idea that I was gonna drive about an hour um, to Hamilton today. And originally I wanted to try to hit 10 waterfalls in one go. Will I be able to do that? I don't know. Uh, we're gonna see how many we can get. I'm gonna get there at 9.30, which is about half an hour behind schedule. I have to pick my kid up um, at daycare around four, but if I push it a little later, like 4.30 max, it's fine. So I might give myself a full six hours. But I've already kind of sectioned them off to, there's a few in this one, there's a few in this one, there's a few up here. It's really gonna come down to like parking, how long it is to like get into the water, into the waterfall. Um, I don't know, I've been to a few of them before and some of them are relatively easy, so I guess we're just gonna have to find out. But uh, yeah, let's see how many waterfalls we can hit in, in like a six hour span in one day, one day, you know? Let's go. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so after like at least five wrong turns, I made it to the one, two maybe, I don't know. Um, I saw on the map, so this is my list right now. Buttermilk, Albion, Devil's Punch Bowl, Upper Chaddock, Chet Oak, I don't know. Um, Cliff View, Tiffany, Sherman, I think, I can't even read my own writing. Sherman, Webster's, Twos, and Boar's. We're gonna try. So Buttermilk, Albion, and Devil's Punch Bowl are apparently in the same kind of area. So we're gonna hit those ones first. Um, I have to shit. <laughs> so it literally hit me like a few minutes ago and I'm like, no, there's no bathrooms anywhere. So I'm gonna ignore that um, signal from my body as long as I possibly can and I might have to hit a Tim's or something. But uh, no time wasting, let's go. <laughs> so now that I have hiking attire on, even the boots. I normally hike in Crocs, to be honest. <laughs> or Vans. I would also like to point out that it is 5.59 right now, so 10 a.m. Um, my goal is to see how many I can hit before like 3, 3.30, but I guess we're gonna have to see. Let's try to hit 10. We're gonna, we're gonna low ball, we're gonna say, if we hit five, I'll be happy. <laughs> if we hit 10, I'll be fucking over the moon. I'll probably go streaking out of excitement or something. I don't know, but let's go. That was embarrassingly close. <laughs> Welcome to the top of Albion Falls. Let's go to the bottom. Well, that's very reassuring. This is the point of entry. I'm just making sure there's nobody coming. When I say it's muddy, it's muddy. <laughs> Almost down. Almost down. Okay. I'm gonna be very, very quiet because I don't want anyone to snitch on me. Now, can I get down to the falls? I don't know. Right now, I'm looking for a footpath. I see one. Okay, let's go. Again, everything is very, very wet. Doing this on a day after a big rain is probably not the smartest move for me, but when I get an idea in my head, I just have to do it. Almost there. Almost there. So this is Albion Falls. The camera's having a hard time focusing. There we go. <laughs> Welcome to Albion Falls. Um, yeah, I don't know anything about it. I'm sure you guys can Google it. The thing about coming down to falls like this, that have giant, like, no entry signs, is getting caught. But I know for a fact that these types of waterfalls are very, very busy despite the no entry signs on the weekends. A lot of tourists, a lot of hikers, photographers. So I know I'm not the only one, but it still sketches me out. Because all you need is one asshole person. All you need is one asshole person to call the cops. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna say bye. <laughs> I'll be in. 
I'm halfway up the mountain. I'm gonna keep going. We're gonna go to the next one. We're running out of time here. We got five hours. So what you guys didn't see is me wasting 10 minutes. <laughs> I was about to pee my pants. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go in a random bush filled with poison ivy, might I add. Saw the sign after. Um, but man, I feel better. Now that I peed, I feel like I can like run a marathon. So there's the top of it. Hmm. I feel like I'm gonna have to hike for this one. You can see how tall we are. It's a really far drop. Um, I feel like this would be a good time to tell you that I'm actually scared of heights. <laughs> like really scared of heights. Uh, but it's about pushing your boundaries, right? Making yourself uncomfortable. But I'm just gonna keep moseying around and seeing if there's another way down. Okay, so I think I found a way down. Um, I ducked off the main trail and followed a little bit of the Bruce Trail in hopes that it would kind of bring me. And it did, I think. She said, hopefully. <laughs> I'm so, so close to the bottom. Um, the trees are getting taller, which means I'm getting lower. Obviously, I still have some way to go. I think I can see the ground kind of over there, but I wanted to stop and show you. Even though we're in a rush, I just wanted to show you nature and how pretty nature is. Another, another reminder to enjoy the beauty around you. It's not a race, like if I get 10 waterfalls, cool. If I get five, perfect. But I'm also enjoying this. I have to go slow because it's muddy, so it's forcing me to slow down and not just like run through the trails. And I'm very clumsy, so, <laughs> so running through the trails would not be a good thing for me. We found water. Here's the thing. The falls are over there. <laughs> so, um. My only concern with walking the river is I don't know how deep it is. Like I can see right here and then I can't see any rock, so I don't know. I'm gonna walk a little bit upstream and see if there's anywhere to continue along the side or if I have to go in. It's looking promising in terms of hiking the whole way up. It's gonna take time to get there, obviously, but to get there, that's better than not at all. And there's a lot of cool rocks. <laughs> That's what's going to take a lot of time, is stopping and picking up damn rocks. So, not even three seconds later, we've hit a very narrow path here. I'd like to point out that I did scale the fucking side of that little cliff edge whatever. And, out of that two minutes, I almost put my hand on a gnarly spider twice. This is what it looks like you can see it it's like tucked right there I don't know what type of spider it is and I'm not about to find out if the bite hurts <laughs> oh shit oh my god the frogs keep scaring me I figure if I fall in then I fall in like it is what it is but I made it <laughs> across that death trap <laughs> this is so embarrassing to say so I looked at my map because I'm like okay how far is the falls let me tell you the other fucking direction. I've been busting my ass upstream when I should have been going downstream and then take a left. Literally. <laughs> but I have a feeling I might have to put my water shoes on, but we're going the wrong fucking way. <laughs> this is why it's not gonna happen. 10 waterfalls is not gonna happen because I'm a dumbass and didn't plan this out like at all. I literally just decided that I wanted to do this, wrote them down. I didn't figure out the logistics. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna end up walking all the way back to fucking Albion Falls at this rate. So, how I got back down there, I took what's called a game trail. For anyone that doesn't hike or anything, a game trail is the animal trail. So it looks like 
It could be like a human's footpath because it's pretty stomped down. But I'm gonna see if I can take this a lot of the way. I walked back to this lovely sign. I don't know if it'll show up. It says you're gay. So that's great. Um, but I wanted to show you where I was on my map. So the red dot to the left is the falls. We're at a fork. So we gotta carry on this way and then take a left, see? For anyone that doesn't use Google Maps, this is a good sign. I followed whoop, the maps a little bit and it brought us here. So this is the river or the stream that the falls join up with. <laughs> there it is, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Buttermilk Falls in all its glory. I'm honestly totally kidding. It's so fucking far from here. There's a bird screeching. Or something. I've seen wild turkey vultures here. Not here, here, but in the Hamilton trails before. And <laughs> some of them, one I got really close with accidentally. And another time I was walking with my friend the same day and wild turkeys started chasing us through the fucking bushes. So I'm thinking, hmm, I don't have a knife on me. I don't have bear spray. I don't even have coyote spray, nothing. So I might just say screw this one, go back to the top because I'm only halfway. Go back to the top and see if I can get down over there or just basically say this was a, a failed attempt because I'm walking through the bushes alone and like I said, I'm on a game trail. This is the, this is the trail I'm walking. This is not a real trail at all. This is a game trail, this is not a human trail. There's no way. I really don't want to come face to face with anything in these woods. So, I ran out of memory card. So I'm gonna have to deal with that when I get back to my car. But I came back to the, um, the river that's connected to the Albion. Because the other one is too much bushwhacking and I know I'm a bit of a pussy <laughs> because that animal calling kind of freaked me out because I didn't know what it was. I don't know how many there are. I'm by myself. There's no like actual trails. Like right across from me is a trail. There's There was none of that. I was bushwhacking. I'm bleeding because I'm getting scraped up by shitty weeds. And I'm just gonna say screw it. Buttermilk Falls. It was nice almost seeing you. Saw you from the top but it's not worth coming face to face with a wild animal. So <sighs> I'm gonna get my ass out of here and then I'll check in with you guys. Okay. So <laughs> I found the path that I originally took to go down. Going up the other hill at the other waterfall was a lot easier. This is straight incline steps. So I've had a couple stops. This is like the longest just to get my heart rate back down. So it's a lot, but I'm almost to the top. I've stopped a little over halfway, I'd say. Um, and I'm gonna get back to my car, drive to another waterfall eat lunch quick and I'm starving and then we'll try to do another one. We'll see how many we get today is what I'm saying. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> you're on my camera again, but I parked, I parked um, beside the bridge to get down to the falls and I'm just walking a bit because I'm a sore loser and I don't want to quit. So this is the falls from the top, there's rocks. There's the top of the falls. And that's where everybody gets their pictures that I probably will never have now. <laughs> um, 
it looks in the distance right there it looks like there's a footpath but that could just be an illusion um, when I was stuck in the woods it was way the frig over there so I wasn't even close to this thing but we're gonna keep walking a little bit and see what else we find down this little footpath there might be a way down there we go <laughs> I found a way down and it's like really close to the falls. I didn't bring my backpack because I didn't think I'd find a way down. So, I could go down while I'm like halfway down the cliff. Um, or I could go back for my backpack. I don't have my phone on me, so if something happens, I'm screwed. But I mean, this looks like enough of a heavy trafficked trail. It is a washout for water. But I think I'm just gonna go down and, and come back up. I don't wanna waste time. I just have to walk upstream a little bit, but it's not that far. <laughs> oh, fuck. Who would have thought, after getting lost in the woods, coming down here with no backpack, no phone, nothing, taking a chance, shot in the dark, I made it. Welcome to Buttermilk Falls. The mist feels so nice. Ooh, oh my god. and the water is so clear. I remember hearing somewhere that if there's frogs in the water, not toads, frogs in the water, then it's clean water. I don't know if that's true, but I've seen a lot of frogs in this. Look at the reflection of the water. It honestly, like, this video doesn't do it justice. So a hiking tip I remember hearing was if you need water, like fresh water, grabbing the water that runs straight off the algae is the cleanest water that you will find. You don't go for water that's cooling like this. They have bugs in shit. But the water that runs through the algae is getting filtered through the algae. waterfall and I walked over to the base over there I looked and there is the most perfect rainbow just hitting the rocks and it's just a reminder to push through the pain don't get discouraged just keep going because there's always going to be a rainbow or an end to the path that's worth it and I, I think this is worth it I think getting lost in the woods getting cut up eaten alive by mosquitoes I think this is worth it. Like I asked my spirit guide to show me the way to these falls. I want to see these falls and she delivered. Okay, so here's the plan. Um, I've hit two <laughs> out of my 10 waterfalls. I have, I'm probably not even gonna hit all five that I wanted. So I'm just picking and choosing the ones that I feel are the easiest to get into. Um, Upper Chetic, Chetic, I don't know how to say it. Upper Chetic, I've been to before, so I know how to get in. Um, but we're still gonna aim to hit five if we can. 
we just might cheat a little <laughs> and do uppers and lowers and that's classifying as two different waterfalls because they are two different waterfalls if you google them so anyways i've got a 15 minute drive to Falkers. um i'm covered in bug bites i think i'm sunburnt and i have burrs all over my shorts so doing great but let's get going. I'm gonna inhale my salad when I get there and then we'll keep putting along and see how many we can do today. Okay, after a much needed break, a lunch break, um, I am at Felker's Falls, or at least I think I am. There's a waterfall. So I think that's just the top of it, but we're gonna go look. We have like, it's like 1.20 right now. I wanna be out of Hamilton by 3.15. <laughs> so we have two hours. So I found an entryway. It's right off the path, so I just need to make sure that nobody sees me. But it looks promising. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm just trying to figure out the best place to cross, because this looks okay. It's pretty shallow if I was to step in by accident. But then there's also like that little shallow patch there but this looks a little bit more walked upon so i feel like i can walk this up to the falls i just tried to go up and around the water um it didn't work because i literally slipped twice um it's too muddy and i accidentally squeezed my mouthpiece like all down the side of me so that's fun um i can see the waterfall so, but I'm wondering if there's a place to pee because right up there is the walkway. So, I guess I'll show you the waterfall. <laughs> so since I slipped trying to go up the muddy friggin' roots, I've decided I'd rather take the road less traveled upstream along the rocks. So I'm gonna try to just walk up the middle and see how close I can get with that. I'm gonna get my shoes wet, I know it. It's kind of inevitable at this point. <laughs> Welcome to Felker's Falls. Oh man, that mist. That's what I need. <laughs> Should we try to get a little closer? I think I can get to like there. Sun came out at the perfect time. <laughs> Woo! Oh man. I can get used to this. Okay. Oh. Sorry guys. Um, I'm gonna hike out of here. I'm gonna try to go to Chetik. Upper Chetik and Lower Chetik, and then we've at least hit five waterfalls in one go. We've got about an hour left, so let's go. <laughs> okay, uh, this looks promising. <laughs> I'm gonna walk. Oh my god, it's bending already. <laughs> it's always comforting to see beer cans down here because if the drunk people can get their ass down here and up, then I can do it. That's my motto. <laughs> the biggest hurdle that I've had besides the mud out here is trying to remember where I came down the mountain uh, because <laughs> the shit all looks the same after a while. Sorry, I ran into a thorn bush apparently. Now, I remember this path and I scaled a log. That's about all I remember. I see said log. That's the one I climbed. Okay, made it across the log. Now I'm walking back to a natural landmarker that I verbally said was the V tree. I'd like to point out, climbing this ship back up is a lot 
like rock climbing. You have to grab the roots, grab the rocks, and pull yourself. Because like I'm on the side of a mountain. Not a mountain mountain, but like a Hamilton mountain. <laughs> but my body is so exhausted. Okay, so I'm just gonna put it out there. It's 2.52. I'm giving myself literally half an hour at most. <laughs> The spot that I usually go to to get into this one specifically is a 16 minute drive. So I'm going to see if I can show you the top of Upper Chetek Falls. And unfortunately, as much as I want to do the five in one day, time is just not on my side. And I'm going to have to do the other ones another day. You can basically walk all the way in and people used to swim down there now the water looks pretty funky so I don't advise it and I'm pretty sure that little white sign right there is the one that says possible E. coli so we're gonna have to do that a different day okay so I'm not gonna lie I'm a hurting unit <laughs> I I am so sore from the gym yesterday and just all the climbing and I'm just, I'm beat. I'm so beat, I have no energy. So next time I come back, I will go down there and I will show you because I know that there's a way in. At least there was a few years ago. But I do have to get going because like I said, if I didn't have to drive an hour to pick my kid up, then I could go in, but it's an hour, just under an hour with traffic and I don't want to hit rush hour. If you guys liked this video, I would appreciate it if you shared it and you gave it a thumbs up um, and you watched the whole thing through. <laughs> uh, and leave a comment. Um, I'm definitely gonna try to do this again. I think I might do another three or four in a day and see. Uh, I'll be a lot more prepared. Um, I will try to not get lost in the woods because I feel like me getting lost in the woods at Buttermilk Falls was the worst thing for my time. Like, I was fucking walking around for probably a good hour. <laughs> but if you would rather me do a shorter video with one or two waterfalls per video, then I can do that versus trying to hit five. <laughs> one go. Anywho, I will see you guys in another video. And uh, I'm gonna go die in my car while I drive for an hour to pick my kid up. <laughs> so I'll see you guys later. See ya.